Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to display that data of more than 128 characters in ALV for a particular column. And in the previous video, we finished with the almost everything from the logic perspective. Now we will go for minute, minute changes. Suppose customer is saying, I do not require this. So we will simply hide this. I do not require this. So we will hide this also. Now customer will say, I'm able to write here, but yes, I cannot write the feedback here. It is only for the display purpose. So we will make this as read only. Now this employee ID, anyways, we are not passing the value of the employee ID. It will come from the ALV. So we will make this also in read only mode. So I will go for four changes. Firstly, we will hide this. We will hide this. We will make this as read only or we can say output only. And the same way is for employee ID. It will be output only. So firstly, I will go for this employee ID. You all know in the layout itself, we have an option. Suppose if I will go for layout of the screen. In the layout, we will simply, simply remove the property input. If I will go for the screen. If I will go for screen painter. So I clicked on to layout button. Screen painter started. Now I will make or I will remove that checkbox for the input. I will double click. You can see the properties opened. And now I will simply, simply remove input field. It is only, only a output field. I will save this. Now first part done. I will activate this. Now in one session, I will simply show you the output and we will use the methods one by one. And as, as it's all SAP has provided the methods, we need to just use those methods. If I will click here, you can see it is in read only mode. Now, firstly, we will remove this. We will simply hide this. This is your toolbar, toolbar. So now you need to just go to the class and check the method, which method is for to hide the toolbar. So if I will go to PBO and everything should be in PBO because whenever screen will come, you do not want this toolbar. So go for the class and you will find the methods one by one. So I will find the method. Suppose I will go for toolbar. I will find toolbar. We are not getting that toolbar. We need to set that toolbar. I will go for find next. Find next. We have the method set toolbar mode. And description is itself. You can set the visibility of this toolbar. So I will simply use this method and it is an instance method. Instance method is what? I can call this method through the object. Do we have the object? Yes, we have the object. So I will simply, simply use that method. I will go to pattern. After creation of object only call the method. Not before that, otherwise system will throw the runtime error. This is our object. This is our class. Now I will simply to go for F4 help. And the method is set toolbar mode. If I will scroll down, set toolbar mode, this one. I will go for OK. I will simply uncomment exporting and exceptions. 
Now you need to pass the value. Double click and it will show you what you need to pass. I'm double clicking on the method. It is clearly saying if you want to off the visibility of toolbar, put the value zero. If you want to on the toolbar, it should not be equal to zero. Now we need to off the toolbar. So I will simply, simply pass the value zero. Zero means false. I will check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. We will see it is working fine or not. And in another session, I will check that. I will run it so that core session will be as it is. Now you can see there is no toolbar. Now this is called as status bar, status bar. So now I will check in the system. I'll check in the class. What is the method for the same? Now I will go for status bar. This is status bar get. We are not going for get. We are going for set. So now I will choose this method. It is clearly saying set status bar visibility. Now this is an instance method. Again, we can call through object. So I will go for pattern. I will go for a path object patterns. Object and class are same. Now we need to use that different method. I will go to F for help. Now I will scroll down. And we have a method here. Set status bar. Set status bar. I will go for OK. I will uncomment exporting and exceptions. We need to hide the status bar. So if I will simply double click and see, it will give the whole description, but you need to pass. If you want to off the status bar, put it to zero else put not equal to zero. We want to hide or we want to just, we want to status bar should not be visible. We want to hide the status bar. We want to off the status bar. So we will put it to zero. Now I will simply put the value zero and I will activate. Now I will go for just checking the output. I will run. I will execute. If I will click, you can see status bar is not here. Now how to make this in read only mode, read only. It is very, very easy. If I will simply go for this particular class, we have a method here, set text in read only is. Yes. You can see we have a method set read only mode. It is clearly saying you are setting that text to read only. Whenever you want to go for read only, pass the value true, else pass the value false. So we will use this method. And again, it is an instance method. Now we will call this method. I will go to pattern button. I will go to a map object patterns. Everything is same. Only method name will change. Now, if I will see set read only mode, the method name is set read only mode. I will go for OK. I will uncomment the exporting and exceptions. 
I will double click and see what we need to pass. We need to set the read only mode. Yes, because everything should be in the read only mode. It is saying if you want to set the read only mode, value should be not equal to zero. If you want to, if you want to put the input, it should not be in the read only mode. Then you need to put it to zero. If you want to off the read only mode, then you need to put to zero. If you want to on the read only mode, you need to put not equal to zero. And yes, we want to, yes, on the read only mode. So I will put not equal to zero. Not equal to zero means you can put any value. Suppose I am putting one. One means true. I will simply check the syntax and I will activate. If we will see the output, if I will run, if I will go to execute, you can see it is in read only mode. This is what customer will accept. So what is the summary of this particular video? We did total four things into this video. Firstly, we made this in the read only mode, or we can say we made this only in output mode because here user will not put the value of employee ID. So in the layout itself, I remove the checkbox for the input. After that, I remove this, I hide this toolbar by using the method set toolbar mode. I simply hide the status bar by using the method set status bar. We simply simply made this in the read only mode by choosing the method set read only mode. And you can simply double click and see what we need to pass. For this two methods, toolbar and status bar, we put the value zero. For read only mode, we pass the value 1. Now, in the next video, it's a turn to understand each and everything in that debugging mode. And we will check also why employee ID is not coming. We will resolve that particular thing. So, so that's it in this video. Thank you.